Hello, hello, and welcome back to another installment of me reacting to my Mutuals Made content, where I so self-explanatory react to the content made by the people who I know of in my personal life. Now, I will not out any personal anythings, but it's just whatever they posted as public. And of course, if you are mentioned and uncomfortable with whatever the hell I'm doing here, feel free to PM me. Just LMK, okay? Anyways, I do feel fancy with this like little necktie. I feel like I'm doing too much, but um, moving on. So our next victim for today is Carbon Knife Seven Two One or <laughs> Jensen Thompson, aka Jenny, as he is so lovingly called. Um, not by me though. I don't personally know him, though he does seem like a pretty laid back dude. And what I do know about him is that he's an absolute metalhead and gamer. And I was also planning on doing a little chit chat with him, like a surprise, um, if he ever live streams. But I cannot get our schedules aligned. Nor I'm not sure what to say if he does go live. Funnily enough, I wasn't even thinking about doing a video on him. But he just happens to follow my IG one day and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I will. So, for context. Jensen and I went to the same high school, same grade. We never had any classes together, but I do know of him. He was known as the drummer dude, period. There was not a single day where I did not see him play the air drums, just to and from classes. I don't even think I've seen the dude walk properly, but I do wonder if any other person who has played the drums ever looked at him and was like, hmm, he's playing Seven Nation Army. Like, just catching on to what he's playing. Either way, it didn't matter because the song would bleed through his headphones regardless. I'm sorry. Which was paired with his bull's snapback and trusty messenger satchel. I also knew of him because he was a certain someone's boyfriend. I used to go to primary school with her, but I don't want to traumatize him any further. Though one random memory I have of him is... Him talking about the shortage in graphics cards or something. Only I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to his ex. Like, sir, this is a canteen line, but his input is appreciated. I do like learning things from other people most of the time. Plus that info was kind of relevant to me. Ish. Anyways, yeah, that's how I've come to know him as a really friendly person. And our last interaction was not too long ago. He replied to my IG story about the good old UNS confirming the existence of aliens with just Tom DeLong. If you don't know who that is, well, you best bet that he doesn't know who you are. I think I might have saved myself that day by doing a quick Google search. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't QTE this, because I know that Jensen is bonkers for anything and everything metal related. He's from Blink-182. You're welcome. But please. I'm into pop music, Jensen. Is that what you want me to say? I also find it funny that during this time, Fall Out Boy's banger cover of We Didn't Start the Fire actually mentions this. Oh, and speaking of covers, I cannot forget that one school assembly where he covered Throne by Bring Me the Horizon. Personally for me, I was jamming out to it. It was pretty cool and he was so in the zone for it. Though, to be honest, I'm not quite sure if the audience felt the same way. I know rock and metal isn't for everyone, but eh, it was something different. I also did have a bit of a rock and metal phase during this era, so I was a bit more familiar with it. I felt cool. What can I say? Anyways, I saw him once at work too, but I'll spare it. I think you guys get the gist. Anything else I'd like to say? I think people once compared his hair to Skrillex. So I did a little social media research and yeah, this is pretty on par as what I remember him as or assume. Except that he now plays the guitar and also goes by they them pronouns. It's sort of surprising, but I'm here for it. I'ma just snoop it out a bit more because I'm a bit confuzzled with how to go about this. Okay, so I think Ultimate Grunge is a cover band and Maxwell John is a musician slash band on Spotify. But I don't know, I don't want to take the focus off Jensen too much. This is a video on him after all. Also, sorry about that. My laptop wants to breathe. Um, hopefully it's not too distracting. Hopefully Jensen doesn't grill me on this. His latest stream was from two days ago. I just missed him. I don't know much about COD other than what my boyfriend says. And God, it's a lot. Um, so I doubt I can say much. 
I was just gonna check out this other one, which was from 23 days ago and is two hours long. Oh boy, I'm in for a marathon. I think only this one will do. Hmm, now that I've gotten my shit sorted, I can actually start the fuck anyway. Hey, Ladies my man. And what is good? My name is Jensen, otherwise known as Common 721 It is wonderful to meet your acquaintance. Smash point beer in the chat if you guys are having a cheeky cold one with me this evening, my homies and homettes. I haven't been drinking. As of late, I haven't had a drink in nearly two weeks. And you know what? Two weeks? Yeah. No. That's not fucking true. It's only been a week. And you know what? I'm kind of proud of myself for that because I've been drinking way too much. You know what, as long as you're happy with that, I would crack one open for you, but I have no cold ones. I just kind of want to give you guys a bit of an update on what the fuck's been going on in my life, you know? Like, I've been a busy boy. Yes, this all works out. I was struggling. And you know what? I played fucking flawless. Also, I turned 22. Hey, I wished him in the DMs. So, let me switch scenes real quick here. Um... Here we go. All right, so let me turn the volume up. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Also, real quick, I have to sincerely fucking apologize. All right, sorry, I'm gonna just cut you off there for a sec. So this is a Maxwell John gig. I forgot to mention that he plays the drums for this dude. I didn't get a chance to check it beforehand, and I should have, I fucking should have. And the stream went down right before we played. So everything was running off my phone. So the video and the internet in the, like, the place was running off my phone. Thank God for Ash from 51st Avenue for fixing it and getting it back up and running during, our, during this song, which is our third song of the set. What a fucking legend, like, to say the least. Like, Ash, dude, you are a fucking mad lad for getting that back up and running, man. Thank you so much. You were my fucking savior that night. Yay, Ash! And I should have turned the kick up in the mix, in the stream mix. There's Max throwing the fucking jersey at me. Dickhead. Whoa! <laughs> I love Max. Wait, is the band uniform jerseys? That's so cute. So our singer Max, and it pisses me off every fucking time I sound check. I have, I, when I'm doing this, when I'm running sound, or even without in ears, I get, I juice the gain up real high because he sings really softly in sound check. The moment he's fucking singing when we're playing, he's over singing. Oof. You know what? That's honesty and I live for it. Like, it does sound good, but the distortion is just... And Max singing the wrong fucking lyrics like a dickhead. Fucking idiot. So funny, but fucking idiot. <laughs> And so this guitarist here, this is Elle. So she's our new guitarist in Maxwell John. So I've been friends with her for many, many years. And we've been trying to get her in the band for fucking ages, dude. So the reason for that is because she used to be the guitarist of my previous band, Underweather. And... I forgot about that. Yeah, preach it. Me too. So to summarize it, Jensen was talking about the gig and the moments leading up to it, which you know seems hella stressful and I totally get it. Especially when you're on top of something, um, the sound checks in his case. But I think it's pretty cool with how he dealt with that stress that night. Um, and he's so unfiltered with it too. Like yeah, he felt like complete bollocks, but he's still standing despite that and is even optimistic. <laughs> Surely this isn't a one-time thing too, it probably has happened a lot, and his body is already accustomed to it and he knows that. So yeah, it's amazing with what a person can uphold for the sake of their passion, um, again even when one is broke. Oh, this is, I get to show you guys my new guitar! It, me using the new guitar. Wait, wait, he's wearing the same shirt. Oh, and this is his cover band by the way, um, he plays the guitar for them. <laughs> Bro, I'm here. I'm Kenoff. Okay, so I finally finished his stream. I know it looks like I stopped halfway through, but I didn't. I just don't have anything else to say. Basically, he talks about his personal life with his car and how it... A little on his ex. And his promotion at work. Congrats, by the way. 
So yeah, um, he's keeping it real. He had me at demotivation because I struggle with that a lot. As for the rest of the stream, it's just drums, audio tech, and like concert slash festival stuff. Like nothing that I'm familiar with. What the hell is a conversion kit? Anyways, that's gonna be it from me. It's nice to see that he's doing fabulous and just enjoying life as hectic as it seems. Um, please don't quit streaming. <laughs> I know I don't have an opinion because it doesn't affect me. But yeah, totally up to you whenever. If you want. <laughs> okay, bye.